Hello everyone. So I'm trying this Leon's Lockpad uh, uh, challenge, you know, picking left-handed. Man, I don't know how you guys do that. I gotta put my hand way up over here. But this is my left hand. And I've got my right hand tensioning. Or trying to tension. It's really weird. It's awkward. My hand fits naturally up there when I'm doing left hand push like that. For tensioning, but uh, weird is all I gotta say. This is really weird feeling. Alright, I got a slight turn on the core off of pin 5. <laughs> wow. I've picked this lock open a couple of times right handed, but I've never tried it left handed. I haven't. I think the last time I picked a lock left handed was when I dislocated my shoulder. At Ratco, and I had to pick a master lock number seven to open before I left. I had to use my left hand because my right hand was immobilized. Man, it's hard to to figure out tension with your left hand, and it's hard to figure out <laughs> positioning your pick with. Your... It's weird. It's. It's definitely bizarre. Okay, let me get over here. This is a little bit more comfortable this way. I'm not used to my arm being over here, so all my junk's <laughs> in the way on the left side. Now, let me get this over here. This could take a while. I like challenges. I'll give anything a shot. Tension is really important. And uh, I, I've developed a really good feel in my left hand for tension. Right hand, no. Right. Here we go, I got a slight turn on the cord. Now it's pin five. I got Trekmaster's uh, pick in here that I won in his drawing. It's an excellent pick. Everybody's out there swimming in the pool. All right, I got another slight turn on the core, hit pin one, and just gave me a slight turn on the core. <laughs> Man. It's strange. I guess I could get used to it if I did it enough. It's just definitely different. I'd actually thought about that for my when I get my... 200 subscribers I had thought about a left hand you know like doing a vice versa type thing but uh, Leon's already got that one so and I haven't got 200 subscribers yet anyway well, so it could be a while alright I was getting some kind of like counter rotation when I Hit that one pin, but it's hard to tell where you're at. I did like three openings with my right hand fairly quickly. I thought, okay, all you got to do is the same thing with your left hand. <laughs> and, yeah. In theory, that's all you gotta do. There we go. Got it. Come on. Oh man, don't. I thought I had it. No, I've got the pick wedged in there. I just got a really deep fall set. I thought I had. Open the lock, but 
I don't want to lose my tension wrench. I gotta find out who's holding us up. Oh, it's open. I had it open. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Left-handed pick. Let me go ahead and gut this thing. He said we can gut it anyway, but I'm just try to gut it left-handed. All right. So this is my right hand. I'm gonna use my left hand. Oh, let me turn this around where everybody can see it. Bend the camera down. Get a screwdriver out. Definitely different. <laughs> Sit over there. Stay. Sit. Stay. Right. So. Let me get the spring clip off. Let me try that left-handed also. Yeah, if it's not your dominant hand, man, it feels weird. I mean, getting the tension right, and... I had that... I guess I had that thing picked open. And, uh... When I dropped that tension wrench... Look at that. I got that guy out pretty good left-handed. Alright, let's get a... A shimmy shim shim. I had around here somewhere. Like I said, I have been messing around over here. Oh, I'm using my right hand. I was going to put a glove on to remind myself. Put a glove on my right hand and to remind myself not to use my right hand as the dominant one. Why does my shim not want to go in there? There we go. Go all the way in, Shim. Go all the way in. Alright. Got a follower in here. See where my key pins are at. And there we go. Oops. Let me further tilt this guy. There we go. Alright. Dump the pins out like a lefty. Oops, that's that's number four. Number four and five switched spots. Get over there. There you go. Get back over there. All right, and now we'll remove the shim. I'll hold this in. Ooh, weird in my right hand. <laughs> and. It's not the right tweezers. Here we go. Man. I don't know how I used to do that with my... I guess I went like that with my right hand. Beow! Springs and everybody comes flying out. The pin one is a standard. Pull him over there. Here's this little copper spring. Pin two coming up. Make sure you focus. We want you focused. Focus on your task at hand. Whoa! <laughs> he shot into my hand. Nope, you landed in slot three. You need to be in slot two. Mr. Spool. My right hand keeps wanting to take over. 
Here, let me help you with that. Beow. I might just get him that way. I don't know where that's... I don't know where that guy shot off to. That spool has, has launched. Earlier I dropped one too and I couldn't find the damn thing. There he is. Hiding. Hiding in the Bible. Alright. Beow. Number four. Guess I could use these tweezers I got in my hand. Ugh. Weird. A little copper spring. Get over there. 11 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. Do we have to reassemble it? I think we just got it. Oh, shot off all over the place. Is that little bump pin? Anti bump pin. And he's got a, a steel spring. So the bump pin spring was a steel. Right. Um, I don't think we have to reassemble it, but uh, just in case we're supposed to. I don't know. I don't know if we're supposed to put it back together. I know you're supposed to pick it and disassemble it. I don't know about putting it back together. Oh well. I'm going to put it back together right handed because I did the picking. Whoa! I did the picking left handed and the disassembly left handed. Yeah, I used to teach, uh, I was a firearms instructor for many years, and we'd teach people left-hand shooting, and they would go, why, why, why should we have to shoot left-handed? Well, in case you get shot in your right hand or your right arm, your arm gets immobilized, or you're holding somebody back. There's a lot of reasons why you would have to shoot left-handed. This way, I should put pin five in first, which is that little bump guy. Yeah, this would be like a 30 minute video if I had to reassemble it left handed. Uh, now it's going to be excessively long, but that's the way it goes. All right, three spools. Spool number four doesn't want to go in this chamber. There we go. Spool number three. Spool number two. He's got kind of a weak spring. He's recessed. And standard pin number one. All right. Now let's put the key pins back in here.
Uh oh. There he went. I said, I heard him land. I don't know where he went. He's in the nose. Right in the nose. All right, in you go. Pin number five. There you go. I'm going to get a shim in there again. Sorry about that. It's taking so long. 15 minutes. There's my shim. Right. works Dan clip yeah that was a fun challenge man that's definitely different I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that very often though oh and this guy does have an anti bypass wafer in there anti pick anti bypass whatever you call it drop the screw out I can go right handed again this guy needs to be recessed in there. Sorry. Give me the key back. Thank you. Not the fastest disassembly and reassembly and all that, but we about got it here. Yeah, it's a good thing uh, I checked uh, Leon's uh, uh, thing because the first person to put one up was blacked off and he was doing a destructive entry. And I thought that's what we were going to do as destructive entries. But that's just for the European market. Right, so let me stick the key in here make sure it works. Yes, it does. Close the shackle. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Sorry it took so damn long. Um, but uh, that's what happens when you pick left-handed, I guess, when you're right-handed.